Hello everybody, hope you're having a fantastic day today. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Today we are gonna be talking about the only gun you'll ever need, the railway rifle. Is it the only gun you should use? Well, no, of course, because you should have a variety. It just, you know, makes things a little bit fun. But can you get away with just using this weapon? Most definitely. So let's get into it here. Now, just to point out, in case you don't know how to get this weapon, you can pretty much go to any train station. Uh, maybe go to the mall just to, you know, make your odds even better. But I'm pretty sure the first place you go to will have a plan for the railway rifle and the automatic piston receiver. Make sure you buy both of these as you're going to need both of them for the build. Of course, the railway rifle to craft it and the automatic receiver just for uh, DPS. Now let's get into the perks and perk points that we will be using for this. Just keep in mind, I do have a beginner build at the end, or after I explain this build, I do have a beginner build. So just throwing that out there, you know, in case you can't, you know, have all these legendary perks on. But those are the stats that I'm using. These are the perk cards that I'm going to be using. And I will show you the legendary perks that I'm using, which I actually kept one off just in case, you know, you want to throw things on and off of your build here, including like Master Infiltrator. Um, I like to have on for running the silos. Maybe you need to put on Ammo Factory to make ammo maybe funky does because of the daily ops again master infiltrator just if you want to open things sizzling style maybe or just maybe some extra intelligence so you can rank up a little bit faster i would recommend master infiltrator or taking one for the team taking one for the team especially if you're going to be uh doing some boss fights but yeah i just thought i would leave that you know alone and so you can throw on whatever you want now here's the beginner build. Now just keep in mind, this will not be as powerful, but I assure you it is still extremely impressive. So I just did this build basically without using any legendary perks. And this is where I would start if you're gonna start making this build and you're, you know, say only level 100 or so. And just, you know, work towards it. You need to unlock those legendary perks to get the full potential of this build. But like I said, even this beginner setup is quite nice. You will do lots of damage and it'll be impressive to you, I assure you. And like I said, I didn't use any legendary perk card slots for this build. Now, you will need a full set of unyielding armor to make this build most effective. I will leave a link in the description explaining unyielding armor and how to get it. I do recommend weight reduction um, prefixes for the uh, legendary effects and, of course, unyielding for your main effect. And pretty much anything you want or that's going to, you know, work for your build after unyielding. Unyielding is definitely a must for this build as it just buffs the stats so much and the AP mostly. Um, the serums that I'm using, or the mutations I should say, uh, adrenal reaction, eagle eyes, healing factor, herd mentality, scaly skin, and speed demon, demon I would highly recommend, although you can use carnivore and you don't really need egghead. I just have them on right now. Um, also to point out that ammo is extremely inexpensive for this build. All it takes is steel to craft the railway uh, spikes. And you do make more than three if you do have all the perks on like Ammunition Factory, um, Ammo Smith, and Super Duper. You will make tons of ammo. You won't even know what to do with it. Very ammo efficient weapon. Not to mention all the enemies you can pick ammo off of. And, you know, it's just so easy to find steel in the world. Like, just running West Tech really quick, I already got like 400 steel scrap. So, if you're just wandering around, just make sure you're picking up everything. And that's why I included the scrapper perk with this build as well, because you will just get tons of steel. You won't even know what to do with ammo, will not be a problem with this weapon. Um, this is the weapon that I'm using specifically. The legendary ammo capacity mod for uh, it being quad is extremely important. Um, you can get away with just starting with the quad, but of course, you know, other things are going to make it better. I highly recommend the 50% more critical damage, um, explosive damage, or faster fire rate. And a vampire's weapon too in your back pocket for maybe some tougher areas, because this is definitely the definition of a glass cannon build. Your very high damage output with very little 
damage resistance. So just keep that in mind, you may die a little bit, but it's still fairly good and you should have time to stim pack. Also to point out too, with the concentrated fire perk card on, you're gonna wanna make sure you're aiming in on the enemy's heads to kill them quicker. And you know, obviously not all enemies' heads is the best place to shoot, but most of it is. So just wanted to throw that out there. And this build is great. I've been using this now for like two or three weeks and I've just kind of just been tweaking it here and there and this is kind of what I ended up with and honestly just running around with it for the last day or so I don't remember dying once and I've been doing everything and like any big enemies like a behemoth no problem you're gonna just insta kill it um, a miler queen like we were saying the legs are better to shoot on it but still with that said, you know, no problem to kill. You want to kill a blue devil? No problem. You're going to absolutely destroy him with this build. Um, another thing I really like about this build, actually, is the... Um the fact that you can just take out Scorch Beast so fast. Um, on some builds, especially some heavy builds, if you don't have the right weapon with you, they can be a pain in the butt to take out. But just, you know, the Vats and... Um, it locking on them is just so easy to take them out. You can just cri cripple their wings like I just did there too if you w even want them to land. Just insta-kills them. Same thing with like even, you know, boss enemies for nuked events. Like you will do tons of damage. You can take out any one of these enemies. The Titan, Earl, or the Queen solo. No problem. And you'll just find yourself, if you're anything like me, you'll find yourself just hopping around a lot because you're just trying to not get hit and you're just looking for enemies to shoot. You will kill enemies so fast with this build, you'll just be looking around and they'll, they'll pretty much be all dead. Uh, to point out as well, the Company T machine is amazing for this build as it does produce Company T, which will up your AP regen by 20%, and that is a lot, especially when you're using VATS with this build. You can see how fast it replenishes your AP. It's just crazy. And if you didn't know, it is fairly early on the scoreboard that you do unlock this, the most recent scoreboard, and... Um, yeah, a lot of people just might not even know you have it. So just to point that out, you might want to throw that in your camp. And that's pretty much it, everybody. Just keep in mind, too, this is a, a very VATS-directed build. You want to get used to using VATS with this. And I assure you, you're just going to love this. And as always, let me know in the comments if I left out anything you want to let us know. And thank you so much for watching, everybody. Have a great day.